also in the previous video that I had you watch, um, it gave you an explanation using Pythagorean theorem of why when a circle is centered at the origin, the equation is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. It had to do with creating a little right triangle inside of your circle. Um, now my circle that I've drawn here is not centered at the origin. Instead, it's centered right here at one negative two. So the equation of a circle that is not centered of the origin has to adjust a little bit. So it's no longer x squared plus y squared. Instead, it will be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, still equal to r squared. So in this circle, the radius is seven. Seven squared is 49, that's where this value comes from. And the center at positive one, negative two, fills in to these values inside of the parentheses. So since my x value of the center is a positive one, this becomes x minus one, the sign changes. Same thing with my y. The y value of the center is negative two, so this becomes minus negative two or just positive two, we're changing the sign. So let's talk about using Pythagorean theorem, why this equation makes sense. Um, so as in the previous video, I'm gonna choose some random point on my circle. Um, now this point is not on integer coordinates, um, it's on some decimal approximation. Um, so it's somewhere close to five, three, but it is not exactly five, three. So it's not a coordinate value right here. However, I can still draw approximately a little right triangle here where the hypotenuse represents r. The hypotenuse still represents the radius here. However, this value down here, the horizontal distance, is not represented by x. The x value here, remember we said, is something close to 5, but down here it's close to 4. That's because we've moved the center. The center is no longer at the origin. We translated the triangle right and down. So this distance here, the horizontal distance of my right triangle is x minus h, which in this case is one. So instead of having the entire x value, I have to subtract away that little piece here because I moved the center of the triangle over one then because I moved it down to the vertical side, this vertical leg of my right triangle is not representing the y value. Remember we said this y value is something close to three, but not exactly three. Well, here I can see that that vertical distance is something much longer than three. It's closer to five. That's because I have to account for the fact that I translated down two. So when I do y minus negative two, it becomes y plus two. So this original y value that was something kind of close to three, when I add two to account for this translation down, then it matches what this actual um, length is for the vertical leg of my right triangle. So now that we see this triangle, I can understand how it matches the equation up here. Because this first leg, x minus one squared, plus the other leg, the vertical leg, y plus two squared, would be equal to the radius squared, which is seven squared, which is 49.